Ai, nici gândul de hasă ne gândul să hângi de repe în șlihăs. Nu și bai de ghivus, azi sunt foarte șlihăs. Aici tot a fost nu 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 Jemut, as een is er al weg van, van Rebben. Dus ik kan het geven geen mosel. Dus als je een is al geweest, steen af en cent en stop en naar op van ze gaan. Goed, is het? Is het door de semi-seventy? Ik ben zeker dat ik een gans in huis en voor naar weg. We zijn er een af en weile zum Rebben inwendig. Mit dem gehalten Bauer ist gehen, mit dem Mann, der Rebbe hat sich aufgestellt und gegangen gegen die dummen Satanien und gesagt, nu, wenn wir sie auf dem Plein nicht wissen, ob sie das Treffen nicht wissen, was da hat Tanien, mit dem geben wir Tanien. Wir sind in Luis, in Deutschland, Das war das, was der Rebbe Zerus in die Wart ist mir ein Renka. Bei so das Bein, an die alle Kinder, was die Eltern finden sie auch auf dem Weg mit einem Spitzgebahn. Und wir hätten ja einen Sieg mit dem Verkehrt, wie wir gesagt haben, wenn wir bleiben, größer sind die, und größer in London, und größer in Vermeiden, sollen sie der Rebbe der Helfen in der Weg, Nach dem Schein von Israel, von dem Reben von Schwer, Nidgeil, gesteht in Hemmschen, von Rissa, Machwa, was ich mir will, als Adon, der es um das Ziel kommt. Dafür, dass ich nicht die Fiene mit einem Taten, und so schon viele der Taten geht mit einem Grisser Baum. Und dass ich nicht die Fiene mit einer Mutter, und so die Trocht, einen Grisser Schädel, oder auch die Gott, die Haar. Und er darf er weg von ihm, und mit ihm, wie ich mich schickt er, Zit je in de plein? Maar daar hebben we toch geen matanje. Moet ik gewoon geen bezoek. Moet ik schrijven dat meer dan daar zitten? Moet ik gaan geschept hebben? Maar daar hebben we geen matanje. Moet ik zeggen kennen met de met de maai? Dat is het. Het was ik ben in tweede klas. Ben ik in de eerste klas? Ik heb geen meer gezien. Ik ben toen zei. Und es ist mit meinem Balabostisch-Kirchen und der Chassene mir auch bitte gewöhnt. Gewöhnt. Er hebt sich an die Schliche und gleich als ein Heil und Reste. Mit dem Mal kommt ein bisschen Rache, wie man ein bisschen auch ein bisschen schön hat, wie man ein bisschen überkugelt mit dem Maki. Und er sagt auf Englisch, du siehst, es ist ein Chabadnik, er ist ein Hotiratani, Das ist ein erster Borg, aber unser Schlechtes. Der Mord wird mit Kuhn, mit Schem, mit Zade, mit Gewehr, mit Nonu. Wir dachten, dass der Jechbot, der Rebestell, der Mamschich, von seinem Jechbot, von den Teinen, von Elin, als er sein war, als Loch, auf Dego, um auf Logo, Gorki, Pschute, Bechol, mit Stare, Flohem, da haben wir Sastim, da haben wir Stadli, mit Nefesh, wie Yad Bosse. We came to think we knew no one or anything. And somehow the simples just sort of, you know, took over, you know. We, they would call us and we would live. And they showed us this very nice two-bedroom, living room, kitchen part, just right for a young couple married six months. It would have been perfect. My husband looked at it and, nope, we didn't want it. So they took us to show us the other apartment. 
very big, very in terrible, terrible condition, very, very primitive. I walk through the house and my husband goes, this is more of a frat sadik. I got two tables and 50 chairs, so we should be able to play. I made a floor plan of the apartment, and I sent it to Rebbe, and I said, in this room we're doing this, and in this room we're doing that. Siri Chabad is going to start here, and the Shmua similar are being translated here. And we are, at one time, my Rebbe was talking about us, and so Alexander Dukhin, he like, pulled out, and they they have 12 rooms. And that whole first year, at every Fabrandon, there was a sign for him or for me. I remember I had the cop saying to me, when you come, you'll start with the youth, you'll start a school. No one wanted a school. And I remember once writing to the Rebbe and saying, I feel like my neshama was sent down to this earth just to knock on doors and hear them say no. Rebbe said, it seems from your letter as though you have doubts as to whether the one that sent you made a good choice. Surely you don't have those doubts, even though I won't take it personally if you do. The thing is I'm sure that you don't have those doubts and that the one that chose you chose wisely. Continue on with your work and in your session you will be Matsuyah. In this production is made possible through the generosity of the members of the Gem Foundation. Das was der Sockte Medrisch. Als Dorkos hat Kodisch Borchi mit solche Pizron und Bein Homis. Is neither Pshat at the Rebishter Viva as the whole Medina of Dinas of Falvogu Tverden are Kamus Gdeva from Eden, nor Echad Mikem Gaval the Barbaria, Echad Mikem Gaval the Sarmatia, Idos Conner Ubu in the Gansi Medine, or the Zay Consign at Duro Druva Senate of Hobgen Mitain Eden in a Medina Rechiko. Let us then a tefach, a desert then a derid a tefach, a menas le hat fiach, and let Ubu in the ganze Medine le chayim o le yero, o mafego le yer godit.
Wo der Fall ist, kommen wir lieber das Gewinn, die Stadler sagt, ich gedehle. In die, wo die Finne sagt, Rechechen beechus, Rechechen beruchni. Als auf die, wo es kriegt in der Gaschmius, und auf der See, ich es gepschut, auf die, wo sie sagen, Rechechen in der Gaschmius, wie es gepschut in der Pina, hier Rechechen, auf der Ewan, auf der Gaschmius, auf der Hin zu bringen, der Ehre zu Tera, wie Simcho zu Jomte. Wie soll sie in der Miva, wie ich kor Ehre zu Fidin, was ruck schon kol a ker a ter a kuba le tfil le metal e mitzvot. Wa do se zakech et a mechome di kiflayi. Wa di shlochim wa zayim na hin zu fan vogo. Trom ze zakhamol taimis binom le bin atzma, mode binom le bin kino, odor binom le bin odom chavere. Ha yitochem fa vose da snofog de gerola. אז אין זו אומר גפין אין הנכד בעיר או שניים במשפחה כדי צו מצו זין נשתות או דר המדינה אז מידי זין דורט נזגן בן אבשן ותרוסי ומצוויסה ונרקום נרד מרנית ואין העניון עם פשוטים בתכלית ואין צו כן עדה ולזך נזר הום זה נוח כמשי חצני und auch du sagst mir, dass auch das ist die Kurse von der Kodesh Borchow. Also ich baue da der Rebbe-Stor und ein Eisekli, mein sehr soll tun, und die Schlich ist das, die in der Pino Rechiko, ist auch das ist sein Tachlis als Schlimmus, und du und du wird er der Griechen, dass er den Inge, was er kommt, dass die Schlimmus in der Griechen, du und du wird er zerspannen, sein das, die in der Nord, war dort kommt dann der Limo der Tere de Noko und der Kima mit der Sonne ist jene, nur war dann er der Fahrt lernen mit der Blatt gemorgen Lehrer und mit keinem seiner Mitte mit der Hidu Mellen, mit mehr der Hidu. War er mit einem Diener Recheko konnte sein der Hidu von Berev Am hat er Mellen. War er dort in der Tod der Weile in Berev Am, Und sie dort kamen auch hier durch, was sie können testen in der Farbe, dass sie nicht alle sehen. Die Asche Helkom schon kohl eine, was sie tun, dass sie benefisch verfetzen. Und vor uns seine Mehrmale, die Schlichter, die Simcho, die Tur, die Wolf, was sie will nicht mehr sagen, sein Sof, Kohl, Sof, oder die nach Scholli, was sparen sie auch und sie muss auch nicht reden von Nord. Und am Meriz sich ein Trott von Not lebt mit Schein zurück. Und mit Bett haben wir so ein Riss gern mit Prassen, mit Saal und Klappen auf den Plätzen. Als Elchen gehabt mit Silas Nefisch und auf ganze Finnes Minut ist er ein Riss von seiner Dauer damals und hat gerät mit der zweiten Nieden wegen einer Linie von Tero und Mitzel. Ich sehe das nicht an mit Silas Nefisch, warum das ist ein Mächtig angekommen schwer, Das kommt aber nicht zu den Miller, die zehn Namen Schalwea, wo der Rebbe Stelviva soll sein, die Zahle quäg mal Husso. In der Nächsten, bei jeder Kohl, jeder Kohl, an der ganzen Welt soll wissen, bei jeder Kohl, Paul, Theater Pialte, bis in die Pino, Achim, Dachas, wo das wird durchgeführt, das geht durch die Schluchim, wo sie vor dem Kipschutern bin, am Mokim Rochim. Und arbeiten dort und tun dort mit der Simcho Virtur Levon und seinen sicher Matzliach Lemaiwa mit der Lachatele. Der Pfarrer der Meshaleh, der Rebbe steht in der See dort und der Rebbe der Nossi. In der See dort, wer auch weiß, soll sein, der Kein Bakedesh Hase Sicho, soll sehr not a dos, was sie sehr not a di, was sie vielen durch die Schliche in der Medina zu rechnen. Okay, good luck. Um, we are in the middle of a story, the story of the Rashpats, and Before we begin the story, let's uh, dedicate our class tonight to our, our Fabrengan tonight, to Rufu Kreva Shlema, 
Mrs. Morvich. Her name is uh, Sara Leah Bashokat. She's going right now through a surgery. And uh, this uh, story of a tzaddik should be a schus for her. As is known, the story of a tzaddik is a bracha for all good things. The previous Rebbe said that people make three mistakes about the, about the power of the blessing of, the, of saying a story of a tzaddik. People say, the Friedrich Rebbe said, that saying a story of the Baal Shem Tev on Matzei Shabbos is a segula, it's a blessing to have a better parnasa. So the Friedrich Rebbe said, not necessarily is it only on Matzei Shabbos, well, not only on Saturday night, you say stories of tzaddikim at other times as well. Not only is it a blessing, um, not only is it at the Baal Shem Tev, it could be about other tzaddikim, not only is it Matzei Shabbos, not only Saturday night, and not only is it a blessing for Parnassa, it's a blessing for all good things. So um, the, um, the emphasis, though, of saying the story of Baal Shem Tev is, is uh, true, though, because Ebert told Rabbi Meshav Feller, that he should always say a story of Baal Shem Tev as well on Matzei Shabbos. But uh, in the story we're going to share tonight, continuation of the story of the Rashbats, there is also a segment about the Baal Shem Tev, so we'll get that in too. Okay, so where were we up to? If you remember, the Rajbats was beaten up very badly, and he was, uh, for months, he was in, in uh, the doctors were worried about him, and he wasn't allowed to uh, leave the uh, synagogue of the Hasidim because they were afraid that he might get beaten up again. The, the Misnagdim, the detractors of Hasidim, they had hurt him very badly, and they were afraid that, that if he left again, they might uh, kill him. So he, Ashbat said that in the months that he was by the Chassidim, which was um, between Shvat, between the summertime and the month of Shvat, he said he, he loved it. He, he said the, the words of the Chassidim to him were like good oil, like dew of resurrection. Those are his words. And he was very impressed. <laughs> By the, by the pure dedication the Hasidim had to him, sincere, pure dedication to him. They, he felt how much they, they wanted his welfare, and it just, just revived him. I mean, think about it. He was beaten up, and he was an orphan. And just having people that, that cared for him and, and, and really cherished him and wanted to, to, to teach him, and they, and they actually knew you know, a real way of serving Hashem, it really meant a lot to him. So the Hasidim decided that for his, the benefit of his education, they should send him to study by Remichel Apotzker. He should go to Remichel Apotzker, and there Remichel Apotzker will, uh, in the city of Apotzk, there's a chassan named Remichel, I'll tell you about, about, about him soon, and Remichel, he will educate Reb Shum Batzal Shaftel, educate the Rashbats, and prepare him for visiting the Rebbe, the Tzemach Tzedek. So Drashbatz was thinking that before he goes on this trip, he should go to his former colleagues and his teacher at Herschel, and he should get a blessing from them. And, and, and you know, they, they, they um, were, he knew them for quite some time, and he should go and, and uh, say, say goodbye. But then he thought to himself that he knew what kind of, hardship they caused him and he's thinking they're not really his friends he was a very sincere person very heart sick a person a person full of a very emotional person and liked the truth and therefore he's thinking like he doesn't he shouldn't go back to them like what, what's he wasting his time but then he thought after all they did do kindness to him and they did raise him and therefore he owes it to them especially their Herschel, who he and a few of the other uh, misnagged him did stand on his side when everyone else tried to beat him up and he should go back to Rav Herschel and he should thank him. That's what we, and because of his feeling of, he, he is obligated as to show gratitude, he decided he's going to go to see Rav Herschel, but he still was frightened. He didn't tell this to Rav Moshe, this, this, this was his main teacher of the Hasidim because he was afraid Rav Moshe wouldn't let him go because Rav Moshe would be afraid that he, got, he would get beaten up again. And also, he himself was frightened to go, but he decided he's going to go. 
And he comes to the synagogue of Reb Herschel, and Reb Herschel was sitting together with two other guys, and he was sharing a pilpul, a deep, intricate discussion on a passage in Talmud, and by divine providence, the Rashbats had studied that exact passage of Talmud they were studying. And when he entered, he, he, know, he felt that Reb Herschel was looking at him as someone who had left Judaism and he wasn't really paying attention to him as a student that had once been religious and now someone who had left Judaism. But Rashbats was watching their discussion and he realized that he knows quite a lot about the subject matter. And he found a way to, to uh, enter the discussion, not just enter the discussion, but he was quite knowledgeable about the subject and he's able to really shine and to show Rav Herschel that all of his fears about the Hasidim aren't true and how he actually still, not just as knowledgeable, but really he had advanced quite a lot in his studies of the Talmud. And Rav Herschel is listening to him, listening to him, he's enjoying what he's saying. Meanwhile, the other two guys leave. And then Rav Herschel and he start discussing the path of Hasidim versus the path of, of the detractors of the Hasidim. And he told Reb Herschel that he noticed a lot of fine qualities among the Hasidim. In fact, he said, I think that the only reason that Hasidim have such a um, bad reputation among the Misnagdim is just because of the Alter Rebbe and their, their humility. He said the Hasidim are really very humble people, very kind people, and very, very righteous people. But the Alter Rebbe told them that they're not allowed after the Alter Rebbe left, um, he was redeemed from his imprisonment uh, on the 19th of Kislev, after the Alter Rebbe's long imprisonment uh, for 53 days, he was imprisoned because of the, his attractors had, had informed the government that he was supporting the Ottoman Empire because in truth, Alter Rebbe was just sending money to help uh, this, the Tzadik and Mendel of Haradak and other Tzadikim who were then in Israel, but the, the attractors of Hasidim had had informed the government that the Alter Rebbe was, in, was going against them and supporting the Turkish rule. And the, the, when the Alter Rebbe left imprisonment, he sent a letter to all the Hasidim, the second letter that's printed in the Tanya, Gersa Kedesh, a letter which begins with the words Kotainti, in which the Alter Rebbe exhorts the, exhorts the Hasidim to not uh, jeer at their, at their detractors, even though God has showed, shown such kindness to the Hasidim and redeemed the Alter Rebbe, he tells them that they have to constantly try to bring in their heart positive feelings to their detractors and not to speak negatively at all to their detractors and not to uh, jeer at them. And because of the Hasidim don't want to talk to them at all, if, lest they say something which sounds boastful and prideful and, and uh, holier than thou. And that's why he tells his teacher of Herschel they have this bad name. They could easily prove their righteousness. They could easily prove who, who they are. Herschel listened to them, and, and he, he proved to Herschel many fundamental things that the Misnagdim are saying about the Hasidim are untrue. And in fact, there are many uh, fallacies in the path of the service of Hashem, but the detractors of Hasidim, and he showed many of their customs, many things that they do, and very fundamentally that they're wrong with things that they're doing, and, and how the Hasidim, right, the, and, the, and the path of the Hasidim is correct. Herschel was listening to him, and then he told Herschel, how the Hasidim decided that he should go to visit a certain Hasid of Michal Apotsk, and he's going to train him in service of God. And then he'll be able to visit, finally, the Tzemach Tzedek, and visit the city of Lubavitch. And so Herschel responded that he had heard that, there, that the Tzemach Tzedek was indeed a great genius in Torah. However, Herschel said, I think that for your benefit, it will be better for you to stay with me for two or three years studying Gemara, and that will be the best thing for you, at least for two or three years to study with me. I'll be able to help you help you perfect your knowledge of Gemara and perfect your... Um, so, uh, so the Rashbat told Reb Herschel that the Hasidim are afraid that if he doesn't begin to study by, by Reb Michal, he will forget, a, he'll maybe learn Torah, but he'll forget about the giver of the Torah. And if they want him to go to Reb Michal, so he will teach him to be conscious, not just of Torah study and the knowledge of Torah, the intellect of Torah, but be, to be connected to, the, to Hashem, to God, the giver of Torah. So Herschel 
almost broke into tears. And he says to Rashbats, he's at least God should help you, but you should be a Jew who at least uh, is machzik bater Hashem. You should at least consider the Torah of God be something, you know, hold on to the Torah at least, to be a Jew who holds on to the Torah still. And this, these words, this blessing of, Rash, of, of Herschel really surprised and hurt Rashbat. He realized that what the Hasidim said was true, that the, the, the detractors of the Hasidim and the Snagdim were really maintained this foolish notion that the path of the Hasidim was somewhat uh, heretical and that they, and the, and the truth is exact opposite. As the Gemara says, that the Gemara discusses the value of reverence for Hashem. The Gemara says that if somebody has a lot of wheat and he puts the wheat in the storage house and they forget to add the kav chumtin, they forget to add a measure of preservative for the wheat, all of the wheat will spoil. And the, Rose, you want to join the story? Come, Rose, come on my lap. You said a bracha? Say a bracha. If they don't have the measure of the preservative added to the wheat, all the wheat will spoil. In a similar way, the Gemara says, if you don't have reverence for God, you may know lots of Torah, but the Torah will spoil. The Torah won't be the way the Torah is supposed to. So you realize that they don't, they really don't know they, the, who the Chassidim are, what they're about, and they just maintain this foolish notion that their path of God, serving Hashem is, 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 um, is heretical, it's ridiculous. Anyways, so Rebbe Shmuel Batzal Shaftel um, was informed by the Chassidim that there was a Chassid who was traveling to Lubavitch, and on the way to Lubavitch, he would be willing to bring Rebbe Shmuel Batzal to visit and to, to stay with their Michal Apotsk. And so uh, he, should, he should travel with him. So the Chassid takes, takes the Rashbats with him. And right away, Rashbat says to him, you know, I don't really want to go to the Michal. You're going to Lubavitch, that's really my goal. I'll go back to the Michal and hang out there. But I think I should just go straight to Lubavitch. I shouldn't stop off um, in Apotsk. I should go straight. Are you going there already? Let me, let me go with you. So Chassid said, first of all, I can't make a decision without the, the uh, community. The communal, the, there was a communal decision that they want. They said it was better beneficial for you to go to Rashpat, to Remichel. So I'm not going to interfere. And second of all, I personally think that in order to go to the Rebbe, you need to prepare yourself first. And I think it's a good idea for you to go to Remichel. So Rashpat's agreed to go. He comes to Remichel. Let me tell you a little bit about Remichel. Remichel's father was one of the hidden tzaddikim who lived even before the Baal Shem Tev was revealed. The Baal Shem Tev was revealed, Baal Shem Tev at first was a hidden tzaddik, and only revealed himself uh, as a tzaddik and to the world when he turned to the age of 36 years old. Until then, the Baal Shem Tev was a hidden tzaddik. The Baal Shem Tev had a, uh, before the Baal Shem Tev was revealed, there was a tzaddik who lived at that time whose name was um, his name was, and said Michal's father was, one second, let me find his name. His name was Reb. His name was Reb Zalman, I think. Hold on. What was the name of Michal's father? I don't want you to miss out on Michal's father's name. It was a hidden side. Why should you miss that? One second. Michal's father's name was... I'm not going to find it, I guess. Michal's father was a hidden tzaddik. And when he turned the age of 90 years old, he came to Baal Shem Tev, And Baal Shem Tev said to him, very cryptic words, I don't know the meaning of these words, he said to him, Ben Tishim Lashuch, the, the um, Mishnah says, when you turn 90 years old, you begin to stoop over. Reb actually once said, the reason why people become hunchback at, such an, at an older age is because they, it's, it's, a, it's reflective of how spiritually they're more in a state of reverence for Hashem. Therefore, they're all, so to speak, always in a state of bowing before Hashem. Anyways, Baal Shantav said that Ben Tishim Lashuch, 
and you know how to speak, said the Baal Shem Tev, you know how to talk, and yet you're not speaking, but your son, Reb Michal, he will speak. And then the Baal Shem said prophetic words. He said, your son, Reb Michal, is called Michal. I don't know how this relates to the word Michal, but you're, he's called Michal. And Michal is related to being a... Um, a uh, because he will be a student of my student. He'll be a student of my student, meaning the Alter Rebbe, my, my student student. Or Michal will be a student, of my, a student of my student student, meaning he'll be a student of the Alter Rebbe. And the Alter Rebbe will reveal a path in, even, in the way that even a simple person will be able to achieve a uh, love and reverence for Hashem. Okay, Michal's father's name was Ermeir Azam. And Remichel Apotzker was a, he, someone who himself had Ruach HaKadosh. He indeed became a, a, a student of the Alter Rebbe. He stayed by Alter Rebbe for several years. And he didn't, he, he became also a Chavrusa sort of with the Tzemach Tzedek. Uh, he used to study for five hours a day, every day, except for Fridays. And Rabbi Yantif, he would study for five hours a day with the Tzemach Tzedek. So he was really someone very special, uniquely gifted to be a study with the Tzemach Tzedek. So the previous Rebbe actually said about Remichel that angels would do his bidding. Remichel didn't visit Tzemach Tzedek after he became Rebbe. He said that the Alter Rebbe was able to limit his light, but, uh, but and therefore he was able to handle it. But the other Tzadikim, I don't know what this means, he said they, they, he can't stand with them on the same board. I guess that means that their, their, their righteousness and their light was beyond the way that he could receive it. Either way, Remichel, um, cherished those who would travel to Lubavitch and he would always bless those who would travel to Lubavitch. May God give you success to receive the teachings of Hasidus and the path of serving Hashem in prayer with the true inner feeling and the way that will correct your character. Remich would also um, walk with anyone who would travel to Lubavitch. He would walk with him for several miles carrying their things because it was so, such a special thing for him when someone would go to the visit the Lubavitch. Anyways, the Rajbats arrives at Remichel. Remember, Remichel had divine inspiration. Remichel would, most of the time, he would spend in his attic. He would still live in, in this attic. And he would study Torah all the time. And uh, I think the previous Rebbe used the expression about him that his life in this world mirrored the way things were in heaven. Really a special, unique tzaddik. Anyways, when, when the Chassid brought Remichel immediately says, ah, these are one of the souls that you've made in Shvinsian. He's quoting the verse the Torah says about Abraham, that Abraham and Sarah managed to bring many souls to God in Chor, and the, and the Nefesh Asher Asu Bukhar. He says, these are one of, this is one of the souls that you've made in Shvinsian. So the Chassid said that the, the community has asked that you, Remichel, um, take him under your wings and teach him so that he will be able to be prepared properly to visit the Rebbe Tzemach So he arrived in uh, Apotsk three days before Purim, and Remichel agreed to teach him, and he stayed with Remichel, and Rashbats later recalled how special it was being with Remichel, how Remichel really, he said, being with Remichel, come here, my lap, Rosie. Remichel, um, Come lap or not? You can't run around. You can come in lap or go to a different room. Now, Michal treated him as if he was a convert trying to convert to Judaism. He 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 said to him. He taught him about how what Hasidus is about, and he he said to him among other things. He said to him that you have to be very careful not to do everything with truth and not to fool yourself. Among this was one of the first things he told him about preparing to see the Samachsedek and, and to absorb the teachings of Hasidus, make sure not to fool yourself and to do things with truth. And he stayed with Remichel for about a year and a half, studying with the Hasidus. And the Hasidim of Shvetsyan really felt that Rashvats was uniquely gifted in his power of concentration and in his, his diligence in wanting to understand things. Therefore, they saw a bright future for him in the path of Hasidus, as indeed he became a sort of colleague of the Marash and the teacher of the Rebbe Rashab and the Friedrich Rebbe, someone. And so they thought that he would be benefit a lot by being with Remichel. And 
He stayed there in Michal for about a year and a half. It's a divine providence. I'm sharing the story now because about after a year and a half being with Rabbi Michal, Rabbi Michal says to him um, that you've gained all that you can by being here. You won't gain anything more. And it's time, basically, if you like to go to the Rebbe, you can go now to the Rebbe. And this was before the holidays, before Shani Yom Kippur, and he stayed at the Remichel until after the holidays, and then he set off forth to visit Lubavitch. He traveled by foot. In general, Hasidim would always travel by foot to Lubavitch, and he traveled to Apotsk also by foot. And so he set out to visit Lubavitch, and he arrived from after the holidays to, to, to the area of the, of the cities surrounding Lubavitch, uh, in Parshas Mishpatim, like this year, uh, Parshas Mishpatim uh, was Rosh Chodesh Adar that year, was two, it was Friday and Shabbos, like it is this year. And he arrived in the, um, in the city of Dobra Missal, which is a few miles away, about seven miles away from Lubavitch. He arrived there on a Thursday. And he, um, he, he uh, had, a, had a meal at the, this hotel and he, and he went to sleep. And the owner of the hotel wakes him up at one o'clock in the morning. And he says, there's someone traveling to Lubavitch. He said, he went to Lubavitch, someone's going, he might want to go along with him. And they walked from the remissal to where? To which city? Lubavitch. Lubavitch. And they came to Lubavitch, I think at 4.30 in the morning, around 4.30. And he comes to the synagogue of the Tzemach Tzedek, and there are some chassidim there, and they welcome him, but he's, he doesn't respond to them. Instead, he runs to the oven and to warm up, and he falls right asleep. But he is awoken. He hears the name of Remichel Apotsk. I forgot to mention that before he left Remichel, Remichel had given him a paper of requesting a blessing from the Tzemach Tzedek. And he, uh, he and Michal said to him, please do not read my letter. He gave him, he gave him the letter, he said, please don't read the letter, please give this letter directly to Machzadek. Okay? Uh, he also, I forgot to mention also, the Ashbats asked Michal what to do, how to prepare to see the Rebbe, what should he, what should he ask the Rebbe? And he didn't tell anyone what Rebbe Michal said about what to ask, other than he did say, he did, Remichel said to him, thank you, Rosie, one second. He did tell him uh, various things about what a Rebbe does. Um, Remichel said to him, among other things, I love you with your faults, but you have to get rid of your faults. And he asked Remichel, how do you get rid of my faults? How can I get rid of my faults? So Remichel said, I don't have the power to, tell you, to help you. I could only create a golem, a, a, you know, like a, 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 a thing of clay, uh, but the Rebbe can take the goylam and make this, this thing of clay into a person. And I can just, just put together a, 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 put the clay together. And the Rebbe can take the clay and make it into a person. That's what Michal said. Anyways, he couldn't resist. At first, he respected the Michal, they want to open and read, read the paper, but he couldn't resist and he read the paper. But he oh, noticed that's what the paper was. It was an empty paper, it was empty. He arrives in the, in the, by, in the synagogue of the Tzemach Tzedek and he falls asleep and he hears the Gabi Tzemach Tzedek saying, who here has brought a letter for a Michal Apotzke? And he wakes up and he says, oh, I brought that letter. So the Gabi said, this is the third time I'm coming to the synagogue. The Tzemach Tzedek is waiting for you. Come with me. And he walks with the Gabi to the room of the Tzemach Tzedek and, the and he gives the Tzemach Tzedek the letter and the Tzemach Tzedek takes the letter and he says to him, why did you not listen to the instruction of Remichel? He told you not to read the letter. And he rebuked him for that. Anyways, the Rashbats uh, really cherished this first meeting with the, um, with the Tzemach Tzedek. So much so, there's a lot more to the story. Let's say one more point. Uh, every year, on the, he would celebrate his visit to Lubavitch as his birthday. I know Yehuda, you celebrate your visit to Lubavitch and your Shvat as your, as your spiritual birthday, right? So it's very apropos to celebrating this, his, city, his, uh, his visit to Lubavitch as his birthday right now, because right now there's a Kines HaShluches, everyone's celebrating their, the mission that the Rebbe gave us to bring Mashiach. And the, uh, the, right now is the, uh, 
is the uh, worldwide, not this year it's virtual because of Corona, but all the shluchas around the world are celebrating uh, their mission and not just their mission, but the mission of all the Jewish people to prepare the world and to greet Mashiach. So the Rashbats would celebrate every year his, his, his first, his arrival to Lubavitch as his birthday. He, he said that when he came to Lubavitch, at first he was thinking like, this is, what he, this is what he was working so hard for his whole life. He wanted to finally reach his place. And he had this real great yearning for his mother and his, all those who were he, among, among all people in his life. That, that was someone who was very special to him. But then he said, you know, I've come here. This is, this is, my, this is where I'm born. And this is what my life is about. And he, that first Shabbos was Parshas Mishpatim like this year and it was Parshas Shkolim like this year as well. And it, he describes how the, that's how the Tzamaq Sedeq came in t- to the base Medrash, accompanied by uh, his first, I'm sorry, first his children came in all dressed in, in, in these, these with, their, with their hats and their dress, and they stood around the, the, the bima, and the Tzamaq Sedeq came in on Friday night, and he gave a, a discourse on the verse of Pasha Shkalim, if the Torah discusses this week, the laws of lending money. The Tzamaq Sedeq said, in Kesef, the soul is called silver. Why is it called soul called silver? Because the soul always yearns to be with Hashem. And Hashem gives a person the soul as a loan. And in every day that the soul is here, the Zohar says, every time, every moment you're here in the world, every day you're in the world, you're able to achieve, a, bring a garment to your soul. And you're lent the amount of days you're here. So the Rashpats really cherished that discourse and his first visit to Lubav. So every year, he would go to the Ohel of the Tzemach Tzedek Rebbe Rashi actually requested before he passed away when this request was fulfilled to be buried within 50 Amis, within 100 feet of the burial place of the Rebbe Rashi Tzemach Tzedek. And he would go there every year on the same day, on the Thursday of Parshish Mishpatim, and he would recount uh, he, uh, his visit to Lubavitch. He said, this moment, I, I left from the Bermissal to go to Lubavitch. At this moment, I uh, arrived at the door of the, of the synagogue of Lubavitch. And at this moment, and he would put on his tefillin at the exact moment that he first saw the Tzimach Tzedek. Don't ask me what that means. That's something for him. What, 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 the, what the moment he first saw the Rebbe meant, what, what the moment, what the tefillin means and why they're connected and why every year. Don't ask me, I don't know. But either way, he, every single year, he would put on his tefillin at that exact moment, he considered that moment his birthday, and he would forbring after he would have in Mayrib, Shachas, and Mincha by the shul next to the oil, and he would sleep there. And then he would forbring with the chassidim, celebrating this, this great gift that he had in seeing the Rebbe Tzemach Tzedek. May Hashem help us all that we should celebrate our mission, celebrate our connection to the Rebbe, and celebrate Bukhar of Mamish to see our Rebbe very soon, Bukhar of Mamish, the coming Mashiach. A good tevach. Good Yehuda. Good luck, Charles. Good luck, Beryl. Good luck, Yosef and Jeff. Good luck. Good luck.